Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to discuss about the Galena class of uh, isometric system. Yesterday we have seen the uh, classification of crystals into six crystal systems, where we have seen the isometric system, then tetragonal system, orthorhombic system, hexagonal system, monoclinic, and finally we have seen the triclinic system. Today we will discuss about the Galena class of isometric system. So isometric system is the crystal system which represent the maximum symmetry in the crystal systems. Whereas Galena is the normal class of the isometric system. Normal class means it shows the maximum characteristic of the isometric system. And hence the Galena is chosen as, the Galena has been chosen as the normal class. So let's see what the Galena class is. So the isometric system consists of three axes. These three axes are equal in length and hence their name are A1, A2 and A3. If they would have been different, then of course their name would have been different like ABC or A1, A2, B. But this is not the case here. All the axes are equal in length and hence they are referred as A1, A2 and A3. All axes are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so there is a prominent perpendicularity among all these axes as A1 is perpendicular to A2, A2 is perpendicular to A3, A1 is perpendicular to A3, and A3 is perpendicular to A1 and A2. So there is a pronounced perpendicularity uh, among these axes. Now let us see. This symmetry elements of the isometric system. In isometric system, there are 13 axes of symmetry, nine plane of symmetries, and one center of symmetry. So there are 13 axes of symmetries present in the isometric system. In the diagram, you can see here there are 13 axes. You can count them. Okay. The triad, dyad, tetrad. Okay. So the tetrad means where the at the end the square is made the tetrad means these are four fold axis of symmetries means if you hold this cube along that axis and if you rotate the axis or rotate the crystal up to 360 degree then the referred face will repeat itself four times if you hold the crystal along the triad axis and on the rotation of 360 degree it will repeat the referred face thrice. Hence, it is called triad, or the axis will refer as threefold symmetry. The axis along which, if you hold the crystal and if you will turn it over 360 degree, and if the referred face repeats itself twice, that is called as dyad or the twofold symmetry. Now you count them, you count the ends of them. You will see that there will they, they will be 13 axes of symmetry. Okay. So there are basically 13 axes of symmetry along which if you will rotate the crystal, you will get at least repetition of twice. Okay. And it can go up to four. So this is this is the uh, axis of symmetries in the crystal system. Now we'll go to the uh, plane of symmetries where there are nine plane of symmetries. You can see that the, the different plane of symmetries are being referred here. The red color plane of symmetries, the diagonal plane of symmetries, okay? So you count them. There are nine plane of symmetries over there. The first row the, shows the three, the second row shows the three, and the third row also shows the three. So on totality, there are nine plane of symmetries along which if you will divide the crystal, the two equal halves will develop. It is the definition of the plane of symmetry. As you will divide the crystal along that plane, you will get the two equal halves. So there are nine plane of symmetries in the isometric system. And of course, with such a high symmetry, there is one center of symmetry which is present at the center. You know the definition of the center of symmetry means if you will go away from the center of symmetry in the exactly opposite direction, you will get the similar kind of structure. If there is a corner in one side, then of course there would have been an, there will be another corner on the another side. So 
these are the symmetry elements of the isometric system or the galena class where there are 13 axis of symmetry nine pillars of symmetry and one center of symmetry this is the highest symmetry elements uh, shown by any crystal system because i have already told you the highest symmetry is attributed to the equal nature of the crystal axis and their perpendicularity if you go forward to tetragonal or another crystal systems the symmetry goes down because there is a distortion as in tetragonal system the vertical axis is different and hence there is a distortion and a scope of lower symmetry let us see another example that is foam now you can see here that the forms of uh, isometric systems are versatile you can get lots of forms in it but for your understanding i have uh, kept three forms cube you know that the these are the cube which is a well known form of the isometric system the another form is octahedron the name itself suggests that there are eight faces in the octahedron octa means eight and you can see how it is for how it is uh, represented there are eight triangular faces attached to each other here also all the three axes are equal all the three axes are perpendicular and because of which because of which it is generated likewise now you can see the another form that is a triaso octahedron where you can see the it is a modified version of octahedron here also all axes are equal all axes are perpendicular but the name itself it is triaso octahedron means tri octa octa means 8 tri means 3 so 8 into 3 it will become 24 so there are 24 faces in the triaso octahedron now you can see the another example as dodecahedron okay so there are 12 faces because do means 2 deca means 10 10 plus 2 12 so this is a well known example of uh, dodecahedron now if you will see that the complexity can go up to 448 faces okay in cube there were six faces in octahedron you can get eight faces in dodecahedron 12 triaso octahedron 24 and you can go up to uh, 48 faces and many more there are many examples of the form so uh, in isometric system it is not necessary that you will get only cubes okay you can get octahedron you can get triaso octahedron you can get dodecahedron but one thing which will be common is their axial pattern their axis will be equal in length and their axis will be perpendicular to each other and they will be referred as a1 a2 and a3 if you'll go to the uh, the you know the law of symmetry you will find that the symmetry element shown by a single species or the crystal system will be nearly equal so all these uh, forms will show nearly equal kind of uh, crystal symmetry or the same extent of crystal symmetry let us see some examples well known examples of isometric system they are garnet pyrite and fluorite in you can see here the garnet crystal very beautiful example of the isometric system you can see the great symmetry in the garnet crystal which is on the left of your crystal screen uh, on your screen whereas you can see the uh, example of pyrite which is on your right of the screen you can see the how perfect cubes are they okay they are naturally occurring cubes and how perfectly they are developed okay so they also belongs to the isometric system so these are the well known examples of isometric system let us revise what we have studied today so we, the today's lecture session was on the galena class of isometric system where you have uh, seen the actual pattern of the isometric system that how these three axes are equal in length and perpendicular to each other then we have seen the uh, symmetry elements of the symmetry elements of the crystal system where there are 13 axes of symmetries then we have seen the nine pillar of symmetries then one center of symmetry this crystal system shows maximum symmetry because their axis represent maximum symmetry in it all are equal all are perpendicular so because of which the maximum symmetry is attributed to their maximum uh, symmetry in axial pattern then we have seen the uh forms of uh, isometric system where you can see the cube is of course a form but apart from cube you will get 
the octahedron, twice octahedron, dodecahedron, and many more. Because there are lots of forms in the symmetry system as the symmetry is very high, you can get lots of forms in it. But remember, whatever the form is, doesn't matter, but their axial pattern will be equal throughout the forms. Then we have seen the examples of isometric system. Okay, garnet, pyrite, fluorite. Of course, galena, is, uh, galena has been chosen as the normal class because galena shows all the properties of the isometric system. Garnet may, uh, may show or not show some of the properties. Pyrite may show or may not show. Okay, so it depends on various uh, species. But galena shows all the properties and hence or we can say the maximum properties and hence it is referred as the normal class of the isometric system. So thank you very much for your patience listening. Thank you very much.